powerful story. Now, they have a street, they have a park, they have a playyard next to it that's attached to a school that they're working with, and they've applied to our plaza program to turn all of this into public space, one big interconnected public space for Jackson Heights that needs it so badly. And I don't think that they ever would have been able to do that unless they had thought about the transformational power of their street and convinced their neighborhood by, by telling that small story of the weekend in the summer and letting people see what it could become. And I end with this slide because um, Brownsville, Brooklyn is the home of um, the world's first black chess grandmaster. Um, not just African American grandmaster, but black grandmaster in the world. And um, uh, when we do programming in the street in Jackson Heights, they bring out their, um, in uh, Brownsville, they bring out their chess set because that's deeply connected to somebody that they're proud of and a tradition that they've started to carry on. And, uh, you know, there's no way the city's going to think to do that. You have to give these spaces over to their neighborhoods and let them figure out how to use them in their own way. <laughs>